Hello everybody, in this lecture we're going to learn about bitwise operators. Alright, let's get started. Sounds uh, kind of, you know, complicated, but there's nothing to it, right? So we're going to have a static int, we'll name it x, okay? And we'll give it the value of 23. And we'll make another one, static int y equals 50. Okay, now let's use our system.out.print line, right? And let's go ahead print you know x plus y so as you can see here we have used this before you may be familiar with it but this will add these two together and so obviously what is x plus y 23 plus 50 is 73 so let's go click run and here we have 73 great that's pretty self-explanatory right um, you may be wondering, why don't we use quotation marks? Well, uh, if we put wrap this around in quotation marks, it's going to be a not a numerical value anymore. This x will not, it's not referencing this x. Okay, so let's, if we put two quotation marks around this, it's also it's just going to display an error because it's not, it just puts x and y and it doesn't know what to do. Right, so there needs to be a plus sign, okay? But what if another bitwise operator, so the ones I'm gonna show you are plus, minus, multiplication, divide, and modulo. But we'll get into that a little later, okay? So here we have plus, pretty self-explanatory. Let's use what, minus. And so it's gonna do 23 minus 50. Check out what that is, negative 30 negative 27 and so pretty self-explanatory it gets this variable 23 and subtracts 50 from it okay and that's how it works all right so now let's go ahead go multiplication let's go ahead change the numbers to be a little bit smaller five and three if we click run we're going to get what 15 right because x and y is 15 Another thing we can do, just to uh, maybe get you a little uh, familiar, let's make another, uh, you know, yeah, this is very flexible. Let's use static int z, okay? And here we'll make z equals 4. Or you know what? z equals y. Let's do that, okay? Times z. Go ahead, click run. It's going to display the same exact thing, 15. Now, why is that? All right, let's give it a try. So, understanding. X is 3, Y is 5. And here we have Z. But in this line of code, Z does not do anything, right? Is we're just We just declared this variable. Now, here, let's write a comment. Z is... All right, let's do set Z to Y. All right, and then print... Now z is going to be equal to y, so the the left hand on the equal sign is going to equal this. But if what if we did y equals z? Okay, what is that going to output us? Zero. Why does it output zero? Well, let's give it a try because z z does not have a value; it's just null or zero. Another way. So when y is being called to null. It sets y equal to 0. And z is also 0. So even if we put y here too, it's going to put 0. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Also, you know, we can... Yeah, like just like I did, you can make a variable equal to something else, you know? This is perfectly legal in Java. All right, now it's going to work. All right, another bitwise operator is, you know, what we use a lot in math is division, all right? Pretty self-explanatory. I can give you a try. It's going to display zero. Now, why is that? Oh, because it's not a whole number. So let's go ahead and delete our z variable. All right, it's kind of confusing. Let's do 15 and what? 3. 15 divided by 3 is what? 5. So it's going to do 
equal to 5. So 5 is our answer. But what if we did 4? Okay, 15 does not divide into 4 equally. So what is it going to give us? 3. It's going to give us the closest possible, um, you know, the most we can fit. All right. Now, yet again, this is, we use this a lot in our daily lives. It's nothing interesting, but what is, is modulo. Now, this does come in very, very handy in some programming scenarios. Let me show you what it does. So, 15 divided by 4. Okay, it does not, we already know, it does not go equally, right? We got 3. So, 4 times 3 is 12, right? That's the most. But 15 minus 12 is what? 3. This will also display 3, you know, which is confusing. Let me give you another try. Ready? So if we do 16, so this displays the remainder, all right? How much there is after we divide. So this is, think of this as a division, but it, it divides and it shows the remainder, all right? Let's go ahead and click run. It's going to show zero because there is no remainder. 4 and 16, they go perfectly within each other, right? 4 times 4 is 16, okay? But what if we do 5? Well, let's, using our calculations, let's see if we can uh, get it before the computer. So 5 times 2 is 10, okay? 5 times 3 is 15. But if we do 5 times 4, that's 20, and that's above, right? So 5... 5 times 3 is 15, and 15 is just 1 away from 16, so this will display 1, because there's a 1 remainder, alright? This is the lesson, you know, these are the different operators you'll be using a lot, especially plus and minus, multiply, divide, and modulo, alright? I want to thank you guys for watching so much, and I'll see you in the next video.